Hey guys, it's John and today I will be showing you guys how to make uh, the combination lock for the lava bridge or you can use the combination lock for anything else that you want to use it for but I'll explain how it works so we have the six levers, we can have more than six, we could have a hundred and a hundred if you wanted to make it like a really impossible combination lock but here we have the six levers and the right combination is two, three, five. When we do that it turns all this redstone off and that's what you want to happen, that's what makes it unlock. But let's say we flicked all the levers. Someone suggested that I try that but that doesn't work. The reason why this doesn't work is because there are there is redstone directly behind these levers so if we have even one wrong lever down then it activates all the redstone. So if we have it up, which is the right combination just now, then it turns off. So that's pretty much how it works. The redstone is connected to a redstone torch which is connected to an AND gate which is then connect connected to a latch and this side of the latch is connected to the OFF button which the LOCK button here and it's also connected to the pistons that lock the bridge. So at the moment it's still locked but that's because we haven't activated the other side of the AND gate. So if we activate the other side of the AND gate by pressing the button, this side of this side of the uh, AND gate is temporarily activated which will uh, activate this side of the latch which is which means that this side of the latch is not activated which will deactivate the lock on the pistons here and then we can press the lock button to lock it again as you can see and then we can just reset this with the levers here so uh, I'll show you guys how to build this it's fairly simple the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do is build the levers here I think I'm going to use um, hmm. Let's use 10 levers for this just to make it more exciting. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to put uh, two blocks behind this, and two, another block behind this. And we, we're going to pick a combination for this. So, I won't bother picking the signs up, I'll just pick the combination like. Uh, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Uh, that's a pretty simple combination, but that's just so I can remember. So, what we're going to do is put resin torches behind all the levers that we put on. So, just like this, like that there. Now we're going to put resin on every other block, like this, that doesn't have a resin torch. So then it's going to look like this, and then we're going to just have uh, a resin torch in the middle, around about the middle, doesn't need to be exactly in the middle, and we're going to put a resin in there, and now we're going to do an AND gate, which looks doesn't look like that, it looks like this. Fairly simple. And now I'm going to quickly uh, go to bed. So once we've done that, I've actually done this kind of wrong. I put the resin torch in the wrong place. You want the resin torch to be activated to one side of the AND gate like that. So it's going to be attached to the left side here. Which will deactivate this resin torch. And that's correct. So now we're going to add in a latch, which is going to look like this. I'm just going to have it there, there, and just put in our redstone like this. And then we're going to attach this side to our unlock, uh, yeah, this side to our lock button. So over here we're going to have an unlock button, which is going to be there. We're going to have a lock button, which is going to be there. So now we just need to attach this part here, this side of the and get here, to lock button which is over here 
We might need to add in a repeater, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put it around a bit there. There we go. So that's going to lock it, which will activate this side of the AND gate, which is what we want to happen. And then this side, we're going to add about here, we're going to add in... This is where we're going to connect it to the pistons here, so I'll show you over here. So we have this side of the AND gate, I mean the, this side of the latch, uh, which comes around here which is attached to the lock button here and it's also attached to the pistons up here which deactivate the rest on here so that's pretty much it, we, all we need to do is uh, add in our unlock button which is here we're going to add this to the other side of the AND gate like that, so now when we hit the unlock button, which is that button there, this side of the AND gate should activate. If we just look at it over there, you can see this Ryzen tor torch turns off for uh, a second and then activates this side of the latch, which is when the pistons will be unlocked. And then just to lock it again, we just need to uh, uh, press this button. If you watch that redstone there, it should activate. As you can see, now this side of the latch is activated which will lock the pistons